Welcome back to another ADSR Master Synth tutorial. Uh, if you haven't gotten yourself subscribed to the YouTube channel, do that at youtube.com forward slash ADSR Toots. So today we're going to kind of go over a deep house slash Detroit house bass sound in Massive. We got a few requests to do that type of sound, so I thought I would. And I think I'm going to start doing this once a month where we compile all the requests from either Facebook, the forums, uh, email, things like that, and create one of those sounds. So let's open up another instance of Massive and let's make a new sound. So first thing we're gonna do is an oscillator one. Let's grab the smooth square and detune that to negative 12. Keep it on spectrum and let's turn the wavetable position down to about probably 60 60 percent I would say. And let's take the intensity down to just around maybe a quarter or so. And we're going to modulate that a little bit later with a envelope. And then some. we're going to create a filter cutoff. We'll actually start that now. So I'm going to clear macro one. And then I'm going to drag this onto our intensity of oscillator one. I'm going to drag it out of ways. And I'm going to name this cutoff because we're going to assign that to our filter in a minute. And let's, moving kind of left to right for this, let's grab the Scream filter. And I played around with the filter types, and I think this and Daft work the best for this type of sound, but I just like Scream a little bit more. But you could probably use Daft as well if you wanted to. And let's put the cutoff to just nudge it up just right about there. And let's grab our cutoff and put that on this third box. And let's drag that out maybe just about right there and then let's take the scream and put it just a little bit above half and the resonance just a little way under half halfway keep the mix all basically all the way up and then keep the uh, serial or parallel that means how the sounds gonna travel to the filter keep that all the way down now let's go down to um, our envelope one and we're going to create a different envelope shape for this so drag the attack all the way in keep the level all the way down let's drag the decay in a little bit and let's get the level pretty much just all the way down and keep slope morph level and release the same and then with envelope two we're going to create a real short sound so attack all the way down decay all the way in and then the level pretty much all the way in so you get that little curve and that little bump right there just to actually a little less of a bump just like that okay moving on to envelope three we can pretty much keep how it is and envelope four we can just turn the level down just a little so here's the sound we have so far it's kind of a cool sound in its own right now let's go to let's go to the routing tab real quick and make sure all that's in order so this is the insert ones is select, selected by default. Let's unhighlight that and unhighlight insert two. And then let's select insert two here once it reaches this destination. And, and then let's click insert one for here for the feedback because we're going to be using the feedback. And that looks like that's about all we have to do for that. Um, under voicing, you can keep it uh, at max 16 unison 1 works quite well for this sound. And we'll do mono, mono rotate, and we'll keep it on always for the trigger. So we're not going to use any LFOs in the sound. Don't really need to. Um, I did this in when I was making it, and I don't know why I didn't use uh, oscillator 2. It's because I think I had that routed to... I was messing around with a few different filter types, so I'm just going with kind of what I did. So when, let's activate oscillator three, 
and detune it to negative 12. And then we're going to take the needle, the dirty needle waveform, and keep the wavetable position all the way up. Intensity do about halfway, and then the amp just a little bit down. And let's turn this all the way up to our filter one. And that's what we have so far. So let's go to our feedback, activate that, and let's drag it in a little bit. And then let's go over to our effects. And on FX1 slot, let's grab, let's grab uh, the course. And for dry wet, we're going to put it all the way down for now. And let's grab and create another macro for two. And we'll call this the FX mix. And let's drag that up just a little. And the rate all the way offset just a little bit under halfway and same with the depth and last for the effects let's grab some synced delay and we're just going to dial in a pretty simple delay here so drag the dry wet all the way down and let's modulate that with our macro 2 and let's actually do for the damp let's do uh, so I right clicked and then I'm going to do a velocity. And so when I hit the key harder, we'll get more of a damp response. And let's turn the feedback down and let's change the ratios to one and eight for the left and four and 16 for the right. And let's turn up our FX mix. Let's go over to our oscillator tab and we'll keep let's keep the glide on equal and let's turn the time down a little bit so we don't get as much and let's restart via gate for this one just so it gets a little bit more of a of a punch when the sound starts and let's turn off the noise we don't need noise for this and let's go down to our insert insert one and we're going to grab the parabolic shaper and we're going to put the dry wet just up to maybe 70-75% and keep the drive pretty much where it's at. And then in insert 2, let's get the uh, let's get the sign shaper. And right there you really heard the sound come together and for if any if a uh, if you you can really hear that that's kind of getting that um, it's kind of making that have that quick attack which is more of the uh, Detroit house sound but the sound that we're trying to make this pretty cool sound it kind of has a it's kind of a blend between Detroit and deep house so the the s shaper on insert 2 is important let's take the dry wet and turn it down a little bit and take the drive down just a little And now let's grab some E, let's turn on the EQ and keep the low shelf to, to maybe just under halfway. Let's boost it a little, turn the frequency knob down just a little bit, and let's add a little bit of high shelf because with a, with a deep house, uh, Detroit house sound, your, your kick should be eating up a good amount of the low frequency, so we're going to boost a little bit of the highs to get some more presence and clarity now let's modulate a little bit to finish up the sound so let's take our first envelope shape that we made and let's drag that into the intensity of oscillator one and i'm actually going to put that there and then put that on the second box and i'm playing those little notes live so I'm probably going to mess up left and right here and then for the uh, one we just modulated, play around with that. I'm trying to get some uh, some snap to the beginning to the attack of our sound. And let's take that first envelope and modulate our filter one cutoff. And we're going to bring it just a little bit, probably. Oh, whoops, probably just uh, 
maybe just equal with our filter cutoff. And that's giving us that sound, that kind of that Detroit house sound, which is cool. And let's take for uh, envelope one, that's pretty much it. So now let's take the, uh, let's modulate our second envelope in the middle box that's still open in our filter one cutoff. And we're gonna drag that all the way out. Just to about all the way. And then let's take that same envelope and let's modulate our low shelf. And that is pretty much the sound. Um, so then we're going to take this, which was the MIDI before, from this is the first one, mute that, and we can hear it. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any uh, questions or comments, just let me know below. I'll try to get back to you. And... Head on, head on over to MassiveSynth.com for, for a lot more in-depth tutorials, presets, and just basically everything Massive. And I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.